What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos here, a lot of tournaments, a lot of live streams. Make sure you tell your clans about the channel. And guys, we got the graveyard in the shop finally. It took weeks. Now everyone knows how to counter it, so it's not like as big of a surprise as it used to be. And I don't really know how to play it. I know that you get like a tank across the river, and then you go ahead and drop the, drop the graveyard. But I'm not like, you know, I'm not good with it or anything. So we got to figure out... I guess this might be one of the better decks for it. We'll, we'll try it. Let's go ahead and give... We'll give this card a shot. I just lost my first game with it. So we'll try another. To be fair, that was my first game that I've played in a, um, since um, yesterday morning, I believe. Alright, we got a good... Let me just drop the tombstone here. Alright, this guy's going to be really annoying, I can tell already. He dropped that golem, so I'm just going for the kill, you know? I figure if he's going to go for that golem, we're just going to go for the kill. Damn it. That's bad. That was really, a really bad, uh... Oh no, these skeletons are what's going to kill me. I had to zap to get rid of those skeletons. Uh, gross. He's probably ahead in Elixir by a lot, too. Um, I think our rush was good. I would have rather used, like, an Ice Golem, but we had already played it. Hopefully we can take that out right there. We're just going to play defense here. Once this crosses the river, we're going to play the Ice Golem. So we distracted and then went ahead and took that uh, Baby Dragon out. I think we can just... Um, Fireball log that left tower, right? Or wait, no, I don't think we got enough to fireball zap it. That was stupid. I was trying to get the baby dragon too. Bad graveyard, probably. But we made him waste elixir at least. Oops. Double bowlers on that. Card's so OP. I think he can still beat us here. Nope. Good game. Well played. I mean, he played. He played good. Um, that sneak attack. It's. It's just really hard. You know. I want to put some good plays out though. I feel like I'm not really playing it to its fullest potential. I want to get out some like predictive fireballs, some good stuff. Um, where'd my volume go? There it is, I think. Something doesn't feel right. Okay, so we're gonna counter push with the ice golem in front of the archers, and then we're gonna play the See how it goes. He's got a musketeer on it. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I think we got some good damage in though. I just don't want these guards getting a ton of damage off. The skeleton should keep everything busy. The musketeer should die pretty easy. I don't think that musketeer can get a shot on us. I don't like those uh, fire spirits getting a lot of damage in, so we're going to do that. Right. 
We've got a cycle. We're gonna have to play something range. Took the furnace out at least. So it's that should kill it. One shot. There we go. Okay, this should be a good counter. If it gets out in time. Nope, it didn't get out in time. Now it's just going to kill it. Don't splash it. Alright, very good. You got to get the, the tombstones like the greatest counter to the furnace. But you got to get it out in time. Because if not, it'll splash on your tombstone. And the tombstone will die early. So I really didn't need to push the side that hard. I could just be fireballing. I think that was a terrible... I think that could activate the King Tower. That's right, I can just fireball if I need to. I was already gonna fireball, but those guards are like extra value. Yep, it did activate the King Tower, but we took the tower down anyway. that Grigor back there. I'm a little late on it. I don't want them to get any shots in on my tower. He had the arrow. So the one good thing about it is you're making them constantly spend elixir um, to defend the graveyard. That guy always puts his miner in the same spot so it's very easy to put the ice golem there. So I started out with that loss but now that I'm learning the deck I can see how it works. So uh, yeah. You kind of like um, make them spend elixir where they don't want to like they can't really get their pushes going because if they drop a golem in the back you can do ice golem with the graveyard and really mess it up for them let's uh, wait for him to play something first i panicked and just dropped something i don't really like putting the ice golem in the back because i think it works better when you like place it down then kill whatever's shooting it I didn't really have anything to play. No. Okay, great. The witch went right back into it. Now we need our, um... Now we need this. And I don't think we're gonna have it in time. Nope. I'm just gonna let this die. Just let it die. He don't know we have it. That was pretty good timing on it, really. That witch is probably gonna do a good job, but it's still getting damage in. We still got hundreds of damage in, really. Hopefully that witch gets across the bridge before. I hate how that witch just damaged my uh, bowler. Alright. Get some skeletons out to soak up that fire spirits. I'm not... I mean, we're down in damage, but it only takes one of these pushes. He does have, like, lightning, I think. I'm gonna place that down. See, the, the tower's targeting on my skeleton, so I didn't really get the full advantage right there.
Got him. All right, so that's the that's the graveyard. Um, I've been wanting it because I. All right, guys, so that was the graveyard. For some reason, the rest of the video cut out, so I gotta like re-record it here. I was letting you guys know that I'm trying to get to level 11. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork makes your work. Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit these videos that are popping on the screen right now. Support your boy and uh, hit that subscribe button in the middle of the screen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.